here for um, another English conversation practice session, an English listening practice session. I just want to say hi to everyone who's in the chat. Uh, we had 54 people waiting. That's a lot of people waiting. Um, so for those of you that are new here, uh, let me explain how this works. This is the Saturday evening uh, live conversation and listening practice session. Um, what we do here is if you have questions, you can put them in the chat uh, and I will do my best uh, to answer them. Now, they do tend to go by pretty quickly, uh, so sometimes I miss a few, but if you could, uh, um, I hope uh, I hope this is working. Is the live stream started? Because I'm not seeing it on my screen. If you're seeing it on your screen, just tell me in the chat uh, that everything's working. Uh, and we'll go from there. Maybe I'll refresh my screen for a moment here and see if I can get it uh, to go. But uh, sometimes you have little technical difficulties. Oh, I think it's working. So I had to refresh my screen. I clicked the little arrow um, and it's working now. Let me just check to make sure. It started because I'm not seeing it. It looks like it's working great. Anyways, I'm Bob the Canadian. Uh, welcome. Uh, let me uh, just explain again how this Saturday evening session works. So this lesson has no topic. Uh, the topic comes from you guys and I can see there's a lot of questions in the chat already and I'll get to some of those in a moment. Um, but what I try to do is I just try to talk to you. So it's a bit of a simulated conversation in a way. Uh, it's a bit of a um, a way where you can ask a question and I can answer it for you. But before we start, I have to ask you, did you come here for the English or did you come here to see the flowers? So in my uh, thumbnail, that's the little image that you clicked on to see the video. Uh, I had a picture of some peonies. Uh, Jen and I are in full peony harvest right now. So you can see here, you have some beautiful peonies uh, that you can see. I'm gonna move them out of the frame because they're a little distracting. Sometimes even good things can be distracting. And distracting means that instead of paying attention to the lesson, you would be looking at the flowers. So anyways, we have lots of flowers. I can't show you the field though because it's raining again. Um, this is, uh, it just rains all the time here. Uh, I know some of you, um, oh, you want to see the flowers again? Sure. I know some of you live in countries where it rains all the time, but I'm not used to that. It's not normal for me. Normally, it's fairly dry out. So I think this is the third lesson I've done from the farm uh, where it has been raining. So we're still kind of outside. I'm under the roof of the barn and you can kind of see the green behind me. But let me jump over to the chat and I'll start taking some questions. Again, welcome to everybody. I can't say hi to all of you by name. There's simply too many of you and I do miss that. It was really fun um, when it was just 30 or 40 of us, but uh, this is just as fun, super exciting. Um, so Tao Kun says, how do you spell the name of the flower? So it is a peony. So it's a peony. I put it in the chat there. Um, Christian says these flowers are beautiful. I, we love growing flowers. It's so fun to grow flowers and then to harvest them, uh, to cut the flowers and to sell them to people. Uh, Brando Lee says, hello, Bob. I'm from Brazil. I'm one week I'm going to go to Vienna and I'll make one presentation. Any tips to talk in public? The more you do it, the better. And practice beforehand. Just talk to yourself in the mirror or talk to a wall. Just talk through your speech or your talk so you know it like the back of your hand. That's what we say in English. When you know something really well, you say that you know it like the back of your hand. So if you saw the back of your hand, you should be able to recognize it. Um, Lolly says, Bob, do you grow flowers because you are a romantic person? Um, maybe a little bit, but Bob the Canadian also likes to sell the flowers and get money for the flowers. So maybe a little bit of both. Uh, Chimi says, hi, Bob, from Morocco. Aberdel Reem says, hi, Bob, hello. Uh, Fausto says, hello, from Brazil. Hello, I have lots of viewers from Brazil. I think because the time zone is almost the same. Um, a lot of chat going by here. Um, do a lesson about haircuts. I should do that. I should go to a hairdresser and a barber. 
A barber is someone who cuts men's hair, and a hairdresser does women's hair. Uh, Matea says, what nice flowers, Sir Bob. I'm watching you from right now, Sir Matea, here from the Philippines. Hello, Matea. Uh, Mario says, hi, Bob's greetings from Costa Rica. Uh, may you explain the difference use about present, perfect, simple, and so that's a little challenging to do in a live stream. I tend to avoid explaining grammar in a live stream. Um, I'm better off this summer, maybe I'll make some really good videos in my classroom when I have a whiteboard. Um, but uh, hopefully you can figure that out. Um, here we go. Adolfo Carrillo says, what's the difference in pronunciation between welter and welder? So welter, t -t -t welter, and welder, der. I'm softening it a bit there so you can hear the difference. Um, Julie says, hello, Bob. I'm from China, but I live in California right now. Very, very cool. Um, again, I apologize if I don't get to all of your chat questions. Uh, John Lee says, is it 1920 in Canada? The sky is still light. Um, so it's 720 p.m. So yes, 1920. Although in Ontario, we usually just say 720. We don't use the 24-hour uh, format. Assam Saeed Geba says, say my name, please. There you go. M. Hyde says, hello from Japan. It is very windy this morning. There you go. Um, Mohammed says, hi from Morocco. My question is, what is your, what is your accent? Uh, why is it so clear, so much clearer than a U.S. accent? So I think my accent is a little clearer because I'm Canadian, but also because I tend to speak very clearly because I am a high school teacher and I speak just a little bit more slowly than I normally do. So that helps quite a bit. Um, Carla says, hi, Bob from Central America. Hello. Lolly says, I don't have any person to speak to. Uh, so I speak to myself like a stupid girl. It's not stupid, Lolly. It's not a stupid thing at all. It's a very good thing. Hey, if you think that it's hard to talk to yourself, I went to an amusement park yesterday and I made a video for you guys in the amusement park. It's coming out Tuesday. So I was talking to my camera all day. So that made me feel a little bit silly. Um, Alex Vaz Sobrino says, uh, hi, Bob. Hello, Bob. This is Alex from Brazil. What's the difference between ear, this is your ear, and year? So the year is 2019. I think you knew the definition. You were looking for the pronunciation. So ear, ear, and year. There's a little bit of a Y sound at the beginning, year. Um, Aram says, hello, Bob. Greetings from Mexico City. You have a really cool channel. Thank you very much. I hope you guys who are new here um, have found all of the stuff that I do. So uh, go and look through my channel video list. There's lots of things for you to watch. So hopefully you're enjoying that. Um, Nan Carson says, hello, Bob from Thailand. Ho hello. Eduardo is here. Bob, drop off and pick up are the same. Thanks. They're actually the opposite. So I would drop off my kid at school and then I would pick up my kid from school. So drop off is to um, bring them there. So I would bring my kid to school and drop them off. And then at the end of the day, I would go back to the school and pick them up again. So, um, hi Bob, this is your friend Luis from Brazil. Hello Burgos Electronica or Luis as is your regular name. Uh, Luis Sorez says, I love Canada. Thanks for saying that. Uh, Zilan says, I'm studying to be an English teacher, but I can't speak fluently, uh, and that really demotivates me. So he, he, they're losing uh, motivation. I'm trying to improve. Any tips? By the way, I love watching your videos. Um, are you going to make more money when you teach English? You probably will. So that can be a motivator, knowing that if you speak English, you'll get a better job, and you'll be able to provide for yourself and your family better. So think about that and there's another saying that I like which is uh, do something today that the you a year from now looks back and is happy about so think about if you do the hard work today and then in one year you look you think back and you think I'm very happy that I did that hard work uh, Riza Vadani says Toronto Raptors so the Toronto Raptors are a basketball team and they just won the NBA championship on Thursday night is it was really really cool so 
Anyways, lots of people here. I uh, just want to pause for a sec. If you are not a subscriber, there's a button down there that you can click to subscribe. Uh, and if you haven't given me a thumbs up yet, you should do that. Tejman is watching uh, on his coffee break again. Hi, Tejman. Good to see you again. Um, Marcio Brant says, excellent channel. Congratulations. I'm Brazilian. Hello, Marcio. Uh, Fuchu Wu says, I'm April. It's 7.25 a.m. in Taiwan. Uh, so happy to be in the class for the first time. Hello, welcome to the class. Uh, and it's 7.25 p.m. here. So we're exactly uh, 12 hours difference. Um, uh, thanks for the class, says Ana Paolo Luna. Thanks for your class from Tijuana. No problem. Faith says, let's go Raptors. Yes. Um, going to jump down a bit here. Lost in SM is here. It says, I went to a show yesterday, Luke Mockridge, a comedian, uh, and he's half Canadian. That's very cool. Um, Robert Baxter says, hi, watching you from Brazil. Carlos Eduardo says, how are you doing? I'm doing really good today, actually. I'm, I had a really good day. Even though it was raining, uh, I got lots of work done, so that was nice. Uh, Gerardo says, hi, Bob. Good to see you again. Learning again. from That's Nelson. Thank you. Uh, Islam says, hello from Azerbaijan. I teach English through the internet. What could you advise me? Um, just do your best. Uh, if you're looking to get better at it, I would just say practice a lot um, and then plan a lot in advance. Uh, I am really big on planning a lot. That means I really like to plan ahead. So I always like to know what I'm going to do the next day before the time comes. So be a really good planner and be on time. That's what I always tell my kids. I always say to my kids, five minutes early, is on time so you can figure that one out ramon suarez says how to learn Eng uh, how to learn english level hard so let me see that question is probably how to learn english when the next level is hard that might be the question um just make sure you master the level you're at make sure you are really good at the level that you are at uh, Antonio says hi. Reginaldo says send a kiss to Brazil. I don't kiss on screen, <laughs> so there will be no kisses. I'm not even gonna blow a kiss, but I'll show you the flowers again. Look at that. That here's this is uh, just a little bit of beauty for you guys to see, uh, and they smell really, really good. Really, really good. Oscar Danilo says hello, Bob. Uh, Silvio says Brazilian people love you a lot. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Faith says, can I visit you, Bob? I'm in Toronto. So Faith, the farm will be open for visitors in August uh, for a couple of Saturdays. So look for that. Um, I'll probably let people know. Uh, so if you are in the area, that is totally fine with us. Um, but you need to buy some flowers. See, that's how people think I'm nice, but then I want to sell something. So um, Let's see, uh, we have, what's your opinion about cell pip? I'm not sure what that is. I will have to look it up. Uh, Warsan Mohammed Eagle says, teacher are the same, these two verbs, see and look. That's a difficult one because I can see a cat over there, but I can't say that I, I look a cat. That doesn't make any sense. So I could say, I see the rain coming down, um, but I can look outside and then I can look outside and see the rain coming down. Um, let's see here. Teacher Bob, how long time, how long does it take to learn fluent English? I am Natalia. So Natalia, it really depends on how much time you have to give. But I always tell people, if you spend an hour of day, everyone's going to think I repeat myself all the time. Reading, writing, listening, speaking, and learning vocabulary. Uh, so if you spend an hour a day doing that, and if you can find a native speaker to practice with, uh, in one year, an hour a day, you'll be pretty good at English. In two or three years, you'll be really fluent. But some people, it goes a lot faster. Some people can be fluent uh, very, very quickly. So that's very cool. Um, let's see here. Um, Carlos Edward says, my sister Patri Patricia loves flowers. Should get her some then, yes. Um, Santo Melendez is here. Hi, Santos. Hello, I'm here again. Good to be in your chat. It's good to see you. It's good to see your name. Uh, Raul Raj says, uh, especially your explaining style is awesome. Um, I'm glad that you think it's awesome because sometimes I think I'm confusing. So let me see here. I'm just going to take a sip of my tea with honey. It says, Bob, what is the temperature 
in Canada. So right now, normally it would be 25 degrees Celsius, but right now it is 12 degrees Celsius. It's way colder than it normally is. Way, way colder. Um, Lolly, please, the difference between fast and quick. So um, you can say that my uh, a dog is really quick or a dog is really fast. It means the same thing. Some people say that fast is faster than quick, um, but we use the words somewhat interchangeably. So you could say that uh, Usain Bolt is a very quick runner, or you could say Usain Bolt is a very fast runner. Um, I think fast means a little faster than quick. Beryl Vilson is here. Hi, Beryl Vilson. Uh, what a beautiful yellow tree behind you. What is its name and do you know? So this behind me right here, this tree is a locust tree. Uh, it's a locust tree. Bear, Bear Vilson, cats are knocking things over. Um, it's a locust tree. Um, Yai Kim says, is it just honey tea or is it blended? It is actually black tea with honey. So I drink green tea with honey, black tea with honey. Um, sometimes I drink orange pico tea with honey. Renata is here. Uh, and Renata says, could you explain the, could you please explain the difference when to use on a level or at a level? I hope you see my question, no problem. So, um, so we say in English on the level or to be level. So when you're uh, building something, you want it to be level. Um, and so we use what's called a level to check that. But we also say that someone can be on the level, which means that they're an honest person. Okay, so that's what I would say. But we, when water rises up, we would say that it's at a certain level. So a little bit of a difference there. I'm not sure I explained it very well, but uh, that's a good question. Uh, Belgica de Leon says, I love the way you teach. Thank you very much. Um, Adolfo says, can you speak a little in French and say YouTube is the best learning resource? No, je ne veux pas parler français ce soir. I do not want to speak French tonight. Only English in the chat. Seulement anglais maintenant, s'il vous plaît. Uh, that was a little bit of French though, wasn't it? Uh, the YouTuber Polyglot says, one thing is to learn a language, is another thing to be able to recall everything you have learned in the past. I passed my C1 English exam, however, there is still a lot of room for improvement. So what they say is that um, when you speak your native language, it's like a circle of knowledge and you can speak about things in every direction. So you can speak about the hospital, you can speak about work, you can speak about things you do for fun. So your native language you have a complete circle of knowledge. But when you learn a language, it's less like a circle and it's more like fingers going out in different directions. So um, yeah, it's, it's difficult because you learn so much uh, as a kid uh, and you don't even know how much you know yourself. So when you learn a language, it's like uh, building it from nothing. Let's see here. Um, Julia says, what is the noise? So there is water dripping from the eaves trough here because it's raining outside. So you might be hearing that a little bit. Uh, lovely JJ, Bob, sir, what's the difference between climb the tree and climb up the tree? They are the same. I could, if I was feeling younger, go climb the tree or I could go climb up the tree. That would be the same, but I can also climb down the tree. So that's the difference. Um, Fausto Delkin says, do you have email? Yeah, it's bob at bobthecanadian.com. It's a pretty, pretty simple email. Um, Zilan says, uh, Zilan, if you have a chance um, for abroad, try it. As soon oh, if you have a chance to study abroad, try it and do it quickly. If you can go to a country uh, where people speak English and you can do that when you're young, that is probably the best thing that you can do. I know for many of us, the hair is turning gray and that's not an option for us. We're not able to do that, but um, if you can, uh, it's great to do. Uh, Alcione Xavier says, uh, send a hello to Brazil. Hello, Brazil. I hope everyone's doing great there. And hello, every other country in the world right now. Um, Faith says, Bob, every Canadian says my name is Faith. Um, mine is Fatih. Oh, 
So is there a name like Faith? I am sorry, Fati. So uh, I saw it as Faith. So Faith is uh, definitely a Canadian name. I actually have two students named Faith right now uh, in my classroom. So Fati, I'm sorry I mispronounced your name, but I will try to remember that in the future. I should wear my, uh, my reading glasses when I do the live stream. Um, Let's see, Cornell Tattoo says, hi, what does it mean to be knackered? So that's an English saying from the UK, uh, and it means to be very, very tired. Uh, so if you're knackered, and you don't say the K at the beginning, it's just knackered. Gloria Galvez says, can you make a video about the gym? I will try to do that this summer, although it was very hard last summer because I wanted to make a video at the gym, but they didn't want me to bring my camera in. So I will see if I can find a way um, let's see here. Will Harley says, how to review vocabulary. Put it on, um, put it on cards and make a stack of cards and put the English on one side and your language on the other side. I still think flash cards, that's what we call them in English. So you make, you get cards and you put the English on one side, your language on the other, and then you can have someone else test you. So they can take the card and hold it up and then they can see what it means on their side, but you can only see the other side. That's a great way to practice. Um, KQT says, do you have an online English course? No, I simply make a video every Tuesday. There's a free live lesson every Friday morning. If you didn't watch it, I'll put a link up here. It was on vehicles yesterday, I almost forgot. And we do this conversation on Saturday nights and it's all free and it will always be free. Um, I don't need you to give me any money. Let me just check on something in the chat here. Put that away. Let's see here. Um, Eva Lax is growing a beard. I see you a bit different. It might just be the light. I usually have a little bit of facial hair. So this is a mustache. This is a beard. It's not very thick though. I usually keep it trimmed very short, but we call all of this facial hair. This is not facial hair. This is just hair. This is a mustache, this is a beard, and all of it together is called facial hair. Um, and I like a little bit of facial hair, it's nice. Um, let's see here, uh, Leomar, I'm jumping down folks, sorry, you might have to ask your question again. Leomar DeSantos says, hello Bob, what's the name of the yellow tree behind you? So that is a locust tree. I should find a link for it, locust tree. I think Barra Wilson asked that earlier, didn't he? Um, Let's see here. What's the difference between weather and weather and what's the meaning of pull up? So, well, you know when you put your pants on, you can pull up your pants. So when you're putting your pants on, you pull up your pants. So you grab on and you pull in the upwards direction. Um, but the difference between weather and weather, this weather, so weather is things like rain and sun. So behind me, the weather is bad today, W-E-A-T-H-E-R. Um, but I don't know whether or not you can notice. So that's the other weather. Um, so it's a determinant. It's kind of hard to explain in a live lesson. Um, but the first weather is definitely what's happening behind us here. Uh, Nabil says, hello, Bob. I'm your student from Morocco. Hello, uh, Nabil. Good to hear you. Uh, good to see you. Eduardo Adrian Alcudia Sastra, that's a great name, says, what's the difference between sort of and kind of? Well, I'm sort of tired and I'm kind of tired and they mean the same thing and there's really no reason to say them. I can say I'm tired. I can say I'm a little bit tired. I'm sort of tired. I'm kind of tired, kind of tired. Do you hear me uh, shorten the word there a bit? I'm kind of tired. Um, let me do those again. I can say, I'm tired, I'm sorta tired. See, I should say I'm sort of tired, but we, we slur the words together. I'm sorta tired, I'm kinda tired, I'm a little bit tired. I'm actually not tired, that was just an example. So, I'm not leaving yet. Um, let's see here, Mylian Morris says, what's the difference between grab and to take? So, I'm going to um, take this uh, tea to the house but before I take it to the house, I have to grab it. So I don't have it, I'm going to grab it. Now I have grabbed it, past tense, now I can take it to the house. So when you take something, it's like to carry it. Um, 
Warsans Mohammed Eagle says, teacher, how to use fall behind. So when you fall behind, if you're running two people and slowly one person goes further ahead, this person is falling behind. You would say, I am falling behind the other person. Sometimes with the chat, I fall behind. So I can't answer um, questions fast enough. So I fall behind a little bit. Um, so Leo Barrera says, I need subtitles to understand what you are saying. So Leo, come back tomorrow and there are subtitles. So let me put that here. This, let me type this right here. This video will have subtitles tomorrow. So what happens is I do this live. So there are no subtitles, but Google and YouTube make subtitles for the video overnight. So if you come back tomorrow, the video will have subtitles. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, Lost is gonna grab his bag, or her bag, good, very cool. Jose Alejandro Gomez Sepulveda says, Bob, what is the most popular word in Canada that US people don't use? Probably just A, uh, A. So at the end of some of our sentences, we say A. Like, I'm gonna run out of tea, eh? I'm gonna have to go to the house, eh? I'm gonna need to get some more tea, eh? So I don't say that a lot in my videos, but we say a a lot at the end of our sentences. I don't even think it's a real word. It's an interjection, I think. So let's see here. Hello, Bob, could you please tell the difference between awake and wake? So when you wake up, it's the act of going from sleeping to being awake. Once you wake up, you are awake. Like I'm awake right now. So you're either sleeping or you're awake, but when you're sleeping, when you go from sleeping to being awake, you wake up. Hopefully that makes some sense. Um, let's see here, how to pronounce, so Fatih, not Faith, Fatih says, how to pronounce just a little bit, Bob, especially little. So just a little bit, we don't say the T sound in little. It's actually more like um, we say little, like little okay I'll put that in the chat so we say it like they're D's so that's not a word right L I D D L E is not a word but we say little uh, little uh, let's see hey Bob what's the meaning of jump in the conversation so if two people are talking they're talking to each other and you come along let me do it this way there's two people talking <laughs> and you come along and you jump in the conversation so you of the conversation that's what jump in the conversation mean carlos says thank you for your kindness it's really expensive to learn english here in brazil the method of teaching english is out of date and we spend a lot of money without good results i'm sorry that that's happening carlos eduardo uh, and i'm happy to help a little bit uh, and i hope that uh, your english learning goes well uh, the best english teacher you can have is yourself um, Make yourself study a lot. Um, Anya Rastamli, Rastamli says, Sorry, I want to sleep because I'm tired. It's late. It's 3.42, but you are very interesting. Well, if you need to sleep, you should sleep. Um, you can always watch this tomorrow. Although, if you want to stay up, you're welcome to. Uh, Gabo PJ says, Hi, could you please explain the difference between though, even though, and although? Please help. I really appreciate it. So, Gabo very hard for me to do that in a live chat. Um, I will try to put something uh, together to explain that. Many people have asked me to explain that and I don't do a good job um, off the cuff. That means without thinking about it. Um, so I'll have to hold on to that one. Um, Virgos Electronica says, Bob, I know most of the Canadian love hockey, ice hockey. Could you make a video, let's learn English with terms from hockey like face off, power play, score, puck, Zamboni, etc. I will do that, but I'll do that next winter when I'm starting uh, to feel a little uh, like it's winter time. Then I'll make a video about hockey. Um, Life is easy says, uh, what time is it in Canada now? It's 1.43 in the night in Germany. It is... 7:44 p.m. Um, let's see. Cuxin Agarlo says, "I'm Cuxin from Nicaragua. I want to learn to speak English like Bob the Canadian." Well, keep on watching. We'll help you out. Um, Rada says, "Thanks for your response. No problem." Ronaldo Costa, hi Ronaldo. 
says, Hi, Bob, or Bob, why the Canadians call, call Canada Kadara? Well, we say Canada and we say it really fast and it probably sounds like we're saying that. We don't say, like we just say Canada and it just comes out that way. I, it's hard to explain why we say it that way. Uh, Sitak Buku says, Hi, Bob, you look very handsome with mustache and beard. Thank you very much. Um, you know, some of you think this looks maybe kind of new. Maybe you've been watching some of my older videos because in some of my older videos, I have a chubby face and no no beard or mustache. Um, Dijang Ayaz says, Bob, what is the exact meaning and usage of the word arbitrarily? So when you do something arbitrarily, it means uh, there was no thought behind it. So when I make a bouquet, I might put in red flowers, I might put in white flowers, but I might do it arbitrarily. That means I just take them and I put them in and I don't think about it. So hopefully that helps you a bit. Um, Bruno says, Bob, do you think four years is enough to master English? I'm going to study teaching English as a foreign language. I think if you work hard for four years, you should get really far uh, and your fluency should be really, really good. Um, Visca Red says, salut, Bob. Salut. Um, Leo Barrera says, uh, sorry, Natalie says, hello, hello, how are you doing? Greetings from Thailand, hello. Leo says, is it raining there? Yes, it is definitely raining behind me. Um, Rita Rossi says, hi teacher, the difference between wake and, aw and awake? I think we just did that. Sorry, but when you uh, are awake, you're standing and you're awake, like your eyes are open. Uh, and when you are sleeping, you're flat. But when you go from sleeping to being awake, you wake up. So Ahmed says, um, do you know where Bulgaria is? I do. I look a lot of countries up on the map, on Google Maps, after people tell me where they are from because I teach on YouTube people from around the world and it's really fun for me to look up different countries. So yes, I know where Bulgaria is. Uh, Sejan Song is here. Excellent. Those emotions just want to catch your attention. Just came back from the bar. It's 7.47 a.m. here. You were out late, Sejan. Uh, the difference where super sleepy have to go to sleep now. Yes, you go to sleep and you have a good night's rest uh, You can always watch this in the morning um, Gabo PJ says Bob. Do you like coffee? I have one coffee every morning But right right now I have to drink decaffeinated coffee and that makes me sad a little bit um, Let's see here um, Los j'adore ce paysage, ça donne envie de venir vivre au Canada. So Visca says, uh, I like this countryside. It gives me the desire or makes me want uh, to come and live in Canada. You're totally welcome to come. Um, but I'm not in the government, so I can't approve it. So um, let's see. Zilan Somnez has a question I didn't get to. I'll repeat my question. Uh, as it stood up there, I know there are many people watching and texting, so it's difficult for you to answer. Yeah, repeat the question, and I'll see if I can get to it. Um, help me learn more English. I'll try. My name is Fabricio. Uh, Fabricio. I'm from Brazil. Nice to meet you. You too. Lost in SM says, Salut. J'adore Sean Mendes. <laughs> people are talking French now in the chat. Um, let's see. Uh, Oscar Danilo says, can we learn to speak fluently without knowing much slang? So you don't need slang to use English for business or travel. So usually people learn English for business or travel or to get a job and you don't really need slang. Um, but you might need some slang if part of your job speaking English is to talk to native English speakers so you can understand them. So you should learn a little bit of it. Um, Renata says, Bob's accent is good practice. Thank you, Renata. Uh, Radha says, hey, Bob, how do you pronounce data? So it's data or data. We pronounce it two ways. Isn't that crazy? Like, there's a lot of data on the computer. There's a lot of data on the computer. So I'm not sure which one is correct for your country, but we, also, we do pronounce some words two different ways, and it's crazy. Sorry, English is a crazy language. Um... Sim says, says, Sim Sim says, what's the difference between first condition and third? So I don't get into a lot of grammar uh, in the live streams. So you'll have to look that up. Um, Burgo as Electronica says, Bob, the terms Canadian and Canuck are the same. So Canadian is the official term. I'm, I'm a Canadian. 
but we also have it's kind of a slang uh, name for ourselves we say that we're Canucks so I am a Canuck so uh, Patronit Pabun says good morning Bob I'm Rung from Thailand it's 6 49 a.m. on a Sunday morning beautiful day there hopefully in Thailand on a Sunday morning Mohammed Hemden says I'm from Egypt is there any secrets you want to share with us on how we can be fluent in English and help and help us to speak exactly like you well keep practicing the speaking part for sure um, and I always recommend things like listen repeat record yourself listen to yourself compare back to me or whatever you are recording that's what i recommend record yourself uh let's see here nabil says bob please how to pronounce words like though the second word is not a word by the way and throughout i think your second word is taught um and it should have a t at the end so there you go jose says hello from caracas venezuela hello um, Nata Atan says, say, say hi to the Banana Republic. Hello. <laughs> uh, Ronaldo says, Bob, every day I watch your video, VC and some of them are very good. Good job. Thank you very much for watching, Ronaldo. Um, Lost says, English is beautiful. I think so too, but I think almost every language is beautiful. In fact, the most beautiful languages in the world uh, are when little kids speak in their native language. So whether it's Spanish or Chinese or English or French or um, German or uh, whatever it is, Swahili, when little kids speak their language, when they talk to each other, that's, that's my favorite uh, thing to hear. Uh, let's see. Visco wants to know if I've already been to Brussels or ever been to Brussels. I have not. Zanab says, Australian English is a bit different. With Canadian English, I mean slang and pronunciation. Yeah, so that's tricky. If you are going to live in Australia, you will want to learn some Australian slang. If you are going to live in Canada, you will want to learn some Canadian slang for sure. Yes, I would agree. Um, Alexandra Wernick says, Bob, please, could you explain the difference between prey and prey? So when an animal hunts another animal, that's prey, P-R-E-Y. So they hunt their prey, okay? So you have the animal that's hunting and the animal that's getting chased. The animal getting chased is the prey. Uh, and the second pray is when you, uh, if you're religious and you fold your hands and you pray to God. So P-R-A-Y uh, is to pray. Uh, Luis Gonzalez says, someday I like to speak English like you. I hope you can. That would be great. Um, Lolly says, how long does it take for your students to become fluent in French? So usually Lolly, they have French two hours a week for 10 years. And then if they go live in Quebec for a few months, it all connects for them. That's one of the most powerful things a student can do is learn a language for a while. And then when you go live somewhere where they speak that language, very quickly, everything that you learned uh, kind of connects. It just all comes together, we say in English. Um, Alfredo says... What site do you recommend advanced students to measure their spoken English skills, Bob? So once you get to the advanced level, um, websites and apps and all of those kinds of things are good for practice, but not good for measuring. Your best measure is to take an actual test where native speakers will interview you. Okay, so an IELTS um, or a TOEFL test. Those are the tests you want to do, uh, especially if you can take one where instead of submitting a recording, there's actually three native speakers that interview you. Um, Jordy says there are different between Canadian and American English, just a small little bit, not very much. There's some little bit of slang difference and we say the word about differently. People always say they like the way I say out and about. Um, my wife's out and about right now, by the way, she went to the store. Um, let's see, hi Bob, could you explain the difference between on and in, thank you. So this cup is on my hand, but there is tea in this cup. So that's the difference. I am sitting on a chair, um, but let's see here. There are keys in my pocket. Oh, there's not actually. My pockets are empty. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. I, I learned a lot of English watching American sports in Brazil. So sports are great because you love to watch them. So, and then you see all the commercials in English as well, right? The advertisements. 
So that's a great way uh, to do a lot of, uh, to practice your listening, your English listening skills. Uh, Safe Bigo says, hi Bob, best regards from Algeria. Is there a general template for written expressions? If so, uh, could you bring it for us someday? P.S. I'm preparing for the IELTS test. Thank you. Um, there's not a specific template or pattern for expressions, um, but you should learn your phrasal verbs. That's probably one of the, uh, the first things you should be doing in terms of knowing how to put sentences together. Um, Loss says it's very rainy, eh? Yes, it's very rainy. And you used A properly there. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Valmir says, hi, Bob. I still don't know how to use though. Can you help me and say hello to Brazil? Well, I can say hello to Brazil. Um, uh, it's so hard for me to give an example of though. Let me think of a sentence for you guys. Um, let's see. I'm doing a live stream. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to make a mistake. Uh, it's even hard for a native speaker to think of how to use the word though in a sentence. So I'm just going to leave that one uh, for now. Uh, Visca Red says, Justin Bieber is from Canada and uh, he's proud of Canada. Very cool. Uh, Mylen Mora says, what's the difference between but and though? So um, let's see here. How can I use a sentence? I like to drink tea, but I also like to drink coffee in the morning. Um, and though is a little different. Um, you would say, I, ha I really have to work on this. Um, it's hard to drink just tea though. So that's how you would use though at the in end of a sentence. I, I didn't do that very well. It was grammatically correct, but you can see I'm not good at explaining some things uh, live. Uh, Sergio Lucas says, hi, Bob, I'm a high school teacher. Uh, what about your students or pupils? Um, by the way, is there a difference between what about and how about? Um, yeah, let me see here. Like, what about the kids? How about the kids? Yeah, there is. Um, what about is something you say, oh, no, it, it can almost be the same. Because you could say to me, um, uh, how about your job? Is it going well? And then you could say, what about your kids? Are they doing well? So they're somewhat similar, but a little tricky to explain. Um, Abdullah Abdul Slam says, the only thing I need to be fluently fluent uh, is to be in an English-speaking country. That is that is helpful. Um, let's see here. Nyan Van Lok is here. Hello, Bob. I love the fact that you can speak f with only simple words. That's great, and I learn a lot from you. I wish one day to say thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so I try very hard to use the most common words in English all the time. So I practice that quite a bit. Um, even though I have a university education, you would say I'm highly educated. I always try to use words that are easy to understand. So if you are an advanced level English learner, uh, listening to me is great listening practice, but it's probably fairly easy. If you are an intermediate or beginner, this is probably really good practice for you to listen to me. Um, Adolfo says, Bob, I have to leave the live chat. I have a lot of calculus homework. I hope to see you later, thanks. Get to it, homework's good for you. Get it done. Um, I'm glad that you were here, Adolfo. Uh, Luis Gonzalez says, how did you learn English, Bob? Did you learn by yourself? I learned because I'm in Canada and we speak English. So from the very first word that came out of my mouth, I don't know what word that was. I'll ask my mom if I see her tomorrow. Um, I have been speaking English. So that's, uh, that's how I learned from my mom, my dad, and my older brothers and sisters. Brother and sister. I have one older brother, one older sister. Uh, I need English speaker says, please tell us the difference between percent and percentage. Hmm. So when you use percent, it's usually when you say 100% or 90%. But when you use percentage, it usually means you say, well, a high percentage of people like to learn English. So it's not a specific number. That's just one example. Um, Lawson SM says, my horse's name is Ogino. I like to call him Gino. <laughs> That's very funny. Um, what's your favorite flavor of tea, says Eder Albertino. Um, I think green tea. I don't have green tea tonight, but green tea. Sometimes peppermint tea. That's Jen's favorite tea, by the way. Uh, Dogan Ayaz says, Bob, after watching all your videos, I will create a channel called Dogan the Turkishian. Yeah, you should do that. I would watch it. If you made a YouTube channel, I would watch it. 
Uh, Renata says, I felt like saying I'm proud of Brazil, but honestly, in the best policy... Oh, yes, honesty is the best policy. That's correct. Hey, it looks like my son's home. Just a sec. Stay right there. Just park over there. Can you just park over there? My son was at work. You might see him. He might walk by in a minute. So, um, let's see here. Radha says, hey Bob, please tell the ways to improve voice modulation while speaking in English. So again, you really need to model or shadow a native speaker and try to create the sounds that they create. Um, look at their mouth and their jaw. And if you can see their tongue, um, try to see where that is. Also, you can watch YouTube videos that show you um, how to, where to put your tongue when you're speaking. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, yeah, lost in F senses. Yeah, just park over there. Uh, Reed Van Kaplan says, Bob, can you give an example uh, of on the other hand or even though? So on the other hand, so if I say, I really like the color orange, on the other hand, I also like the color red. So that's how you would use on the other hand. Um, and I like orange, even though red is a good color. So I'm not saying red is a color I would like better. Um, hey, do you want to be in the live stream? He's, he's, not, he's not answering me. Um, Bob, could you teach us common Canadian proverbs with meanings, please? I will try to do that. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and think of one right now. Um, let's see here. No, I can't think of one. Um, Bob, what is your favorite team in the NHL? I like the Toronto Maple Leafs a lot. By the way, Oscar's running by. Did you see him? People usually like to see Oscar in the live stream. Uh, Omar says, uh, oh, that's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar uh, interrupted my explanation a little bit. Yes. So, Eater says, what kind of machine was your son using? Oh, he's just driving a van, just a, a minivan, one of my minivans. Um, Irma Wong says, I'm a new fan. Welcome. Uh, Patricio Olivier he says, Hey Bob, my name is Wanderlei and I'm from Sao, pa Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's my first time on your live and before you ask anything, uh, hey, do you want to say hi? You should just come and say hi. Just come say hi. This is my son. This is my oldest son. Um, he just got home from work. Did you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> he works at a store in our local town. So anyways, his name is Lucas. Uh, and he is almost done high school, but not quite. So anyways, how was work? It's good. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Did you uh, sell lots of stuff? Yeah, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Very did busy. You, what did you bring home? Frisbees. These are Frisbees. I think we're going to play Frisbee tomorrow. Can Jam, maybe? A little bit? We need to... We'll see? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, see you. I'll be in in a bit. Okay. Uh, so that was the first time that you got to see uh, my son. So anyways, uh, that was kind of fun. Oh, everyone's saying hi, just so you know. Hello. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, your son is so cute. Thank you, Uu. Uh, Natalia says, uh, you have a beautiful family. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, he is very tall. Yes, he's taller than me. And I think all of my kids are going to be taller than me someday. Um, and... I'm not super short, but I think that, uh, I don't know, I wish I was a little bit taller maybe. Um, Sim Sim says, what's the difference between the American accent and Canadian accent? Not much. Uh, there's a few words that we say differently. Um, Oscar looks quite elegant, and then he likes Lucas next, and then me. I'm third in the dog world. I'm the third <laughs> on the list. Uh, Huri K says, what a beautiful view. Your background is so fantastic. Thanks, Huri, and welcome to the live. Um, Moana Abadar says, cute boy, God bless him. Thank you. Um, Luis says, where is the dog? So the dog went to the house with Lucas because he likes Lucas more. <laughs> uh, Yasmin Sen says, you have a beautiful family. Thank you. Uh, what is sip, please, in French? I don't know, actually. Um, I, I know boire is to drink, but I don't actually know what sip is. I don't know all the words in French. A tiny bit taller than me. Just a tiny bit taller. Um, Adara Bortino says, congrats on this year. 
but I'm in my late 40s. It's getting close, people. It's getting close. Uh, it works. I'm not sure if it's going to reconnect, but if it does, that would be really, really cool. We'll find out in a moment. It looks like it's working. Let me just check a few things. Um, if it's going to reconnect. But yeah, I think it's working again. Sorry about that little hiccup. So a hiccup. And uh, when you have a problem in life, sometimes you also call it a hiccup. So hopefully it keeps working. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. It looks like it's starting and stopping a bit, uh, but hopefully it keeps going. Uh, we'll see in a moment. Um, let's see here. Um, it keeps loading. Sorry, Renata. Hopefully that stops soon. Uh, Radha says, please provide more videos on phrasal verbs. I will try to do that uh, for you guys. Um, Carlos Eduardo says, you're back. Hopefully, I'm back. Hopefully, it's working. Uh, Chichai Monkai says, hello, Bob. Really appreciate your kind teaching English. Uh, your kind of teaching and your kindness to teach English to others who live in many countries where English is not their official language. Bless you and your family. Lolly says, bad connection for me. I think it should get better. Um, we'll see in a moment. I think we lost a few viewers, but maybe they'll come back. Um, do I says, hi, Bob, what's the difference between further and farther? Um, that's a difficult one to explain too. I know this came up last week, um, but the uh, tree behind me is farther from the camera than me. And the tree past that is farther away as well. But you could also say the tree is further from the camera than me. So I'll go over the pronunciation farther and further. But the explanation is a little bit tricky uh, to make. So. How is the whole country doing? Um, Muaz Masim says, Hi, Bob. I'm loving your live stream. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. Uh, Piedad Lauren says, It's a nice cat. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Bob, your kind is different. Oh, you're kind of different from all the other teachers on YouTube. Yeah, I'm a little different. Um, it keeps... Let me check all something. All the other... Yeah... Not sure we're going to be able to keep doing this, guys. I feel like the live stream keeps chopping up. I'll try to go for five more minutes and we'll see how it goes. Um, Matthew Chang says, uh, Bob, hello from China. Elise Pasteur says, what is the meaning of the word neither? Use at the end of the sentence, please. So um, just I'm just going to try and fix some stuff, guys. Let me see here. Bob, hello from China. I think we're good now. I hope we're good now. <laughs> Adar Albertino says, your English lessons are fueling all my free time and I'm learning a lot from you. So filling, they're probably filling your free time. Um, let's see here. Think and then Ridvan Kaplan says, when they start to talk, I really want to drop to myself in anywhere. Um, the signal, it's not good. I have trouble with the live stream. So. Folks, I think I'm going to uh, wrap this live stream up in a bit uh, if things don't get better. Um, you can stick around right now. I'm just going to check some things. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is happening, um, but I can just have a quick look here to see if I'm having some troubles. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll just ignore them. But anyways, I'm going to say good night. Thank you so much for watching. New video Tuesday from the amusement park and new live lesson next Friday morning. And I'll see you next Saturday night from the farm. Have a great night.